Hey everybody, it's Jasmine. So today I'm going to be talking about products that have literally the best formula. These are products that I reach for because they feel good on the skin, they're easy to apply, and they just make me want to reach for them all the time. So I'm going to try and talk about these in categories. So bear with me if I ever get sidetracked or anything like that. So I'm going to start off with primers, and the first one that I want to mention is the Smashbox Primerizer. Now this one is actually so expensive and I had to wait until the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale to really get this. Now this is a primer and moisturizer and it's exactly that. It is a hydrating primer, so lightweight. You guys know I love my gel moisturizers. I think that they sink into the skin relatively quickly and they just impact your skin in such a way where that you could just go straight into makeup without hesitation, without waiting. And this is so great because it's infused with hyaluronic acid, so that's really going to penetrate all that hydration back into the skin. And you only really need one pump for the face, so this will last you a long time if you use it sparingly. It's around like 40 to $50, so really expensive, really high end in my opinion for the price. And it's just such an amazing deal for what I got. The next primer that I have is something that you guys know that I love. It's my Ride or Die Primer. It's something that I travel with. It's This is my second bottle. I need a third backup. And it is the No Problem Primer by Touch and Soul. This stuff is absolutely amazing. This is an $18 primer, relatively inexpensive. I think that's a great price for what you're getting. Now, if you're familiar with the original Smashbox Primer, this one, it kind of has that similar like silicone-y texture, but it also kind of feels like a hybrid between uh, the original Smashbox primer and then the Benefit Pore Professional. It just has a lot of substance, a lot of grip, and it makes the foundation look so amazing, but it doesn't feel like you have anything on the skin. And I know a lot of silicone-based primers just feel like a barrier, just feels like it's sitting on top of your skin. This one actually sinks in and it actually looks amazing throughout the day. It doesn't break down as quickly and it's just something that I love to use. Another primer that I really like, this one's actually from the drugstore. This is the Catrice Prime and Fine Smoothing Refiner Primer. Now, this one is very similar to the Tarte Primer. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's a putty primer, and you just dig your finger in it, and you just pat it on the skin. And what I like about this one in particular is the fact that it doesn't ball up on the skin, and it's not extremely dry. This actually, once you work it into the skin, it looks really, really good. You might have a white cast if you don't blend it in all the way, but despite that, if you work it into the skin and apply foundation on top of it, your foundation does not ball up, it does not look dry, it does not look cakey, and typically primers like this, you do kind of associate it with like a cakier foundation, and it for the drugstore, this is actually pretty stinking good. Foundations are going to be pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now, you guys know I like my NYX Can Stop Won't Stop foundation. This stuff is full coverage. She's full coverage, she's thick, and she has an amazing shade range. I believe she has around 45 shades, which is so inclusive, so amazing, and it looks amazing in photos and it lasts a really really long time this can last up to 16 hours on the skin that's how I tested it and it to me is a great formula because not only is it thick and long wearing but it doesn't feel cakey on the skin but I do admit once you use more than two layers or two pumps on the skin you will feel cakey, but that's kind of the nature of it. Like you already know going in, this is a thicker foundation, so you're not gonna need a lot of layers. So if you obviously do more layers, you're obviously gonna feel cakey, but for what it is and what I use, it does not do that. And it's just such an amazing drugstore foundation that really does offer that full coverage because I know for a lot of brands in general, if we are talking about drugstore, if we are talking about high end, when they say full coverage, they usually don't mean it and they're probably like a medium coverage and that's not enough for me. I have to have my full coverage when I am looking for a full coverage foundation and this does it for $15 and I am in the shade True Beige. 
Now this is a pretty surprising product because I don't always talk about it on my channel. This is a foundation that I like to wear on special occasions, on nights where it's like a date night. I know that it's going to look great in photos and the reason why I don't use it a lot is because it was kind of pricey. It is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. I have a review on this on my channel and this stuff is so nice it smells beautifully like peaches and it just overall when you apply it on the skin it does not emphasize your texture it has more of a thicker consistency than born this way i feel like born this way is your typical foundation formula so that's nothing really special but this one has a little bit of thickness so it is able to really cover any texture and it has a good enough coverage where it's medium but if you build it up it does get full so it's a pretty versatile foundation where it's like concealer optional and that's what I really do like about this so I'm in the shade golden beige and if you are thinking about splurging on a foundation setting that money down you need to try this and it's really really good the next foundation that I'm going to talk about is something that you guys know I love. It's my Catrice HD Liquid Foundation. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I love this because it just makes your skin look effortlessly smooth. It is a very liquidy, watery, textured foundation. It claims to be like a serum foundation. So something just very liquidy. And to me, that would have turned me off, but the coverage on this is absolutely amazing. They just did a foundation expansion range and it could be better, it could be darker for sure, but now there are more options. So if you were looking for your shade, there's just not four shades anymore, there's 17. And you know, it's better than nothing. Like, you know, they they tried and that's all that I could give them. Like they, they tried to expand it as much as they can and it's just a really inexpensive foundation honestly. So if you ever get the chance to try this, I highly recommend it. I use it all the time in my video so this is no stranger to you here. And I am also in the shade Golden Beige. Usually in foundations if they have a Golden Beige, it's me. I only have one concealer that really knocks my socks off. This is the Catrice Liquid Camo Concealer. I've tried a lot of concealers and for concealers, honestly, I think that they're okay. More often than not, I do think they're okay, but for this one in particular, I think that it's exceptional. It really is lightweight, just like the foundation, but offers a lot of coverage. And I just really appreciate that. They did also do a shade expansion on this as well. So 17, 17 or 18 shades. Um, so there are more than, you know, two shades because I think that's what they only had when they initially launched this. I think they had two shades for the concealer, four shades for the foundation. So, you know, just a bigger expansion in their line is kind of what they needed. So if you've ever wanted to try this I think now is the time to do so it's only five dollars and again it's something that I use all the time on my channel is what I use a lot of the times when I'm on live on Instagram and it again just looks so amazing in photos this is just a really good product I have two powders here with me for the face and one is by Shot Masse. You guys know this is like my ride or die powder. But the reason why I like this is because this is one of the very few pressed powders that I love. Now I do actually want to mention another powder here. I just don't have it with me um, but I do want to mention it after this one. This powder is so good. It is so lightweight and if you apply it with a fluffy brush let me show you the one that i use i use this one by sigma the f35 if you use anything like flimsy like this your powder application will look so good and the formula of it it's like soft it's soft it's light and you can continue to pack it on your skin and it will never feel dry you know when you apply too much powder and you get that feeling of like oh my god all the moisture just escaped my face this won't do it and it just looks so good so amazing throughout the entire day will not give you flashback I have used this powder time and time again and my boyfriend is a culprit of taking flash pictures of me and they all just look so good so Try, try again, boyfriend, try again. So the powder that I also wanted to mention is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Powder. I do enjoy the pressed powder because 
if you guys remember in around 2017 I was really an advocate of it but the reason why I no longer really use it is because it gives horrible flashback it makes the skin look absolutely amazing and it was kind of like the shot miss a one where you can apply it and apply it and apply it and your face will not feel dry in fact your pores actually look reduced and your fine lines look reduced while you're wearing it like the heat of your skin melts that powder into your face and it just looks absolutely stunning so formula wise amazing flashback pass like i don't use it because one, she is kind of expensive, but also, you know, I just can't justify the flashback. It's, it's really bad. Like, it's just pure talc. But if we are talking about loose powders, this one is a new favorite of mine, and I just thought I might just mention it because I feel really strongly about it. This is the Fenty Beauty Banana Powder, and I like this because the shade is amazing, but also it doesn't give you flashback and it's a very finely milled powder. Now I do have other loose powders in my collection and like a lot of products in my collection I just think yeah it's okay. Like you know like a powder is to set the face and yes it's okay but I think the one reason why this stands out to me the most is because it's so similar to the Shop Miss A one but I just feel like this is now a loose version. I know Shop Miss A has a loose powder version of their perfect powder as well but it doesn't necessarily knock my socks off as much as this one I feel like if I compare the two this one definitely takes the cake for loose powder in the banana shade once you blend it in the skin it just feels so buttery so smooth it sinks in whether you are using a brush whether you are using a sponge it just is so finely milled that it looks so good on the skin. So I have a bunch of things relating to like the eye category. So I'm gonna talk about non-palette things, but like eye category. So for eyeliner, I love anything that's a brush tip, but specifically, I do really enjoy my Physicians Formula Eye Booster Pen. I've talked about this for years on my channel. This is my Ride or Die Liquid Pencil, and it's just, so great because not only does it give you a slick black line that you can literally wear all day without smudging and without budging, but it's also infused with a rose serum so it helps your lashes grow. This formula, they really thought about it because I am a huge advocate and I got a comment a while ago asking if the serum actually worked. and. In all honesty, I feel like because I use it so often, I feel like it did work. Um, I do feel like my lashes are a lot longer because there was a point in my life where I curled my lashes every single day and it was great. My lashes looked amazing. They were long naturally, but because I curled it, it got weak and then it just some of them just fell out and I just feel like this really helped replenish my lashes and just made them look really good. So it was a great experience overall just using this product for years and I highly just stand by it. It's something that I'll put money on and I know that it's something that it's not gonna let me down. Let's talk mascara. Essence Lash Princess, another one of my ride or die products. This stuff is absolutely amazing. I don't know what it is, I don't know what's infused in here, but this $5 mascara lengthens volumizes and keeps it staying put like my lashes literally look so good day to night if I wear this no smudging no no flaking no nothing it is amazing and I like wearing this on my bare lashes without a curl it lifts my lashes and it just makes them look so freaking good the wand itself is also really nice it's a more of like a slimmer wand and that's my preference they do have their other lash princesses in the orange tube and purple tube but i really do like this formula the best and it's their false lash effect um formula so that's probably why i like it because it really does give you the best of both worlds the length and volume for brows, I have three products. Two of them are from Shop Miss A. Now, I think through my eyebrow journey, 
I think that these are probably one of the best in formulas. They're sculpting eyebrow brush, not brush, pencil, and their Wonder Brow Pomade. The Wonder Brow Pomade is pretty much like an exact dupe of the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. I have a video comparing the two. And this brow pencil absolutely amazing not too waxy not too dry and there are a lot of drugstore eyebrow pencils that are really really waxy and i believe that's the case because it's cheaper to just load in the wax as opposed to the pigment and these two products really do it for me they work really really well and they they're just gonna stay in my collection always while looking in the brow category i thought to myself is there an eyebrow gel that really has the best formula? And without a doubt, I said Glossier Boy Brow. I don't use this a lot on my channel because I'm running low and I want to preserve it for days where I absolutely need it. Um, this stuff is so good. The brush itself is really, really thin if you've ever used the Essence Make Me Brow. Very similar to the wand in that one, but the formula it really grips your eyebrow hairs and it just stands them up wherever you place it and it's just so amazing that the translucent shade this one is actually clear so it's not like shop misse it's not like color pop where you do have that white residue in your brow this stuff will actually be clear and it's just amazing and it's literally like hair gel for your eyebrows I have a lot of palettes I want to talk about, so I'm just going to breeze through this part. Now, Jeffree Star Androgyny Palette. This is the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes right now. Oh my god. When people say that Jeffree Star Eyeshadow Formula is the best, they aren't lying. Like, oh my god. I don't know what I was doing without this. So shout out to Jessie for getting this for me for my birthday. This is literally the best thing anybody could have gotten me. And it is just the best palette is mostly all mattes which i completely enjoy because there are so many shimmers in my collection so to have this it's like a dream come true his shadows have little to no fallout um they blend really easy and they blend with each other but they don't mesh with each other so you could see a clear distinction between the shades and it's just a great buildable palette if you're trying to experiment with color if you're still trying to get into your comfort zone it's just mm, his palette so good now I do want to mention another palette kind of similar to the Jeffree Star formula ColourPop. ColourPop has a little bit more fallout it's a little bit more softer and a little bit softly pressed in his are more like stamped in they're good to go they could probably take a good fall um these ones these ones if you drop the palette hard enough i feel like the shades will shatter and the reason why i go back to ColourPop shadows is because they're so easy to blend just like jeffree star so easy so seamless but they are very pigmented and since they are lightly pressed in you don't need a lot so literally you just tap in and apply on the eye and that's pretty much good to go. Um, I love their shimmers and I love their mattes, both of them very buttery, very soft, and they're very consistent. Another one of my favorite palettes, the Supreme Seductress by Prism Makeup. This palette, oh my god, I love the Prism Makeup formula. They just have a nice they have a nice dryness to them. It's a very distinct dryness, very similar to Focalore. This is another palette that I want to mention. But they have a distinct dryness, but are so pigmented. They are just literally the best, and they're so cheap. This palette was $12, and I know it's like a Huda palette dupe, but honestly, if it wasn't a dupe, these colors, the pigmentation through and through the whole palette is actually amazing they all perform really nicely all of the shades perform so good and it's just something that i highly recommend you try you can get these on the juno and co website if you're wondering i do have an affiliate link and like i mentioned folklore another distinctly dry formula but a good dry it's a good dry that's why i'm mentioning it um it doesn't have any fallout that's the amazing part it does not have any fallout and each individual shade is very very pigmented the shimmers 
so stunning. I believe in 2018, this was my go-to palette literally like for the whole entire year. It's just something that I feel like you can get so many colors and looks out of it. I have done so many tutorials with it. So it's definitely not a stranger on my channel. And it's something that I always reach back for. This is my baby. They used to sell it on the Juno & Co website, but I think you can only get it on the Focalore website now. Such an amazing palette and it is something that I feel like nobody talks about. Nobody talks about like the cheaper palettes and you know, I just feel like this should have its own limelight. Dose of Color is Desi and Katie. I've heard throughout my life Dose of Color's formula is the best. I heard their liquid lipsticks for a long time were some of the top notch formulas and then everybody was raving about their eyeshadows and then finally... I got it on sale. So this one is the Dose of Color is Desi and Katie collaboration, their Friendcation palette. This is so amazing because when you build up the shades, the light shades, or even the darker shades, when you build it up, it keeps getting darker and it really does build up. Now that could be a turn off for some people, but for me, if I'm really going for a deep dark smoky eye, I want it deep dark. And this will really give it to you. The palette itself has little to no fallout. The shimmers in here are packed in pretty well, but they still have very high pigment, very high shimmer, they're very metallic, and they're just so, so unique. I don't have a palette that's similar in formula to this. It's very distinctly like Dose of Colors, like Dose of Colors made this. Now let's talk about the face. I have two Makeup Revolution face palettes. Their face palettes are so good. They are literally amazing. I have the Golden Sugar 2 Rose Gold up here and All About Bronze down here. They make such great consistent formulas when it comes to the face and I just feel like they layer on really nicely. They blend perfectly onto the skin. They don't emphasize the texture. These are a little dry. They feel, they feel baked. When you go into the shimmers in this palette, they are, they're not lying to you. Like they really are reflective and they just complement the skin so well. So if you are ever at an Ulta, if you're ever looking for a Makeup Revolution palette to try, I highly recommend any of their face palettes. I've never tried any of their cream face palettes, so anything powdery will do. I have a lot of lip products to talk about and the reason why I feel like this part is important is because Colors have already been made. You know, it's so hard for a brand to be very unique with their shade range because things have already been done. And I think the only way to distinguish which ones you like is the formula. And this is where it counts. So we're gonna talk about some liquid lips. I have three liquid lip formulas, Dose of Colors obviously in here. This is more of a moussey texture, but not as moussey as NYX Lip Lingerie. This one is moussey, liquidy, but it dries down very comfortable. It almost dries down to like a normal, Lip, a normal lipstick and that's amazing. I love the shade Supernatural. Something really really nice. It's a nude. Um, this is just a random Jeffree Star lipstick that I don't really use but Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks. These are probably the most liquidy liquid lipsticks I have in my collection thus far. This is a pretty interesting formula because like I said it is very liquidy but it offers high coverage to the lips so it throws me off all the time whenever I do use his lipsticks but it's great because the less layers that you apply of any liquid lipstick the better it feels on the lips and these ones feel like nothing once it dries down so kudos to Jeffree for making an awesome liquid lip. The CoverGirl liquid lips are something that I feel like nobody really talks about other than myself. I love this formula because not only is it like kind of moussey but dry, it literally stays on the lips for so long. So when I take it out, you don't really hear that like, you know, that, that noise that you normally get. It's very dry, but the good thing is is that it doesn't give you a ring around your mouth. It just feels very comfortable, even the red. It is just so pigmented, so nice, so comfortable, and I can't really describe the formula because the, the most I could say is that it's like a drier formula, but it doesn't dry out the lips.
regular lipsticks will forever have my heart. I love them so much. Now if you're wondering about the lipstick that I'm wearing, it is one of the Bite Beauty Amouge Bouge lipsticks. I'm wearing the shade Squid Ink. Now one shade that I particularly like in their line is Enoki. Enoki is beautiful. I believe this one is actually discontinued, but they do have a lot of shades very similar to this, so it's, you know, not too far off. But this formula is amazing because it feels so hydrating thick in a, in a good way. It's thick so that you know it's on your lips and it's hydrating so that your lips don't look crusty. So it makes your lips in the end look very juicy, very plump, very full. And that's what we all need. And it's just so amazing. It's made with good ingredients and so good ingredients that you can actually eat this. So if you are ever just hungry or if you ever lick your lips, if you have a habit, it's good for your body too. So. Just a little side note that it's great and it is pricey, so I try and find mine at TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I don't know if you guys were here literally since the beginning, but I always have said if I could have one lipstick formula for my collection, I would have Smashbox. And Smashbox is so similar to Bite Beauty in a sense where it does feel very luxurious, very thick. Um, their cream formulas, their matte formulas are a little bit different but their cream formulas just feel very luxurious, very just nourishing on the lips, while their matte formula is like a soft matte, it's like a, it's like a coat on your lips, and it feels almost like a suede, like their mattes feel like just very soft, very velvety. It's just a formula I feel like nobody ever really talks about unless you have really dove into it. So Smashbox lipsticks are another one that I would probably splurge on. Um, it is hard to splurge on a lipstick, you know, like $30 or $20 a lipstick is kind of like, ugh, like I don't really want to do that. But if you were talking about the feel of something being super nice, I think Smashbox really does it well. And finally, we are going to talk about one of my absolute favorite lipsticks. This is my number one nude. This is the product that I wear all the time. It's something that I get questions about and it is my MAC Naturally Transformed Lipstick. Now this is their matte formula and their matte formula is a little bit drier than um, Smashbox's. So Smashbox, I mentioned it felt like suede, velvet. This one feels more of like a dried down liquid lipstick. So once you apply it's very creamy but it does dry down so it does last a pretty long time on the lips which I absolutely adore. I love it when uh, my lipsticks can last all day and with no touch-ups. Amazing. This one will really do it and I know one of their iconic matte lipsticks is Ruby Woo. It's a little bit more moisturizing than Ruby Woo because that one is actually so dry um, but this one really helps make the lips look great. Um, if you watched my last video, that's what I wore in the video and it just makes the lips just look so good. Um, again, I wouldn't be wearing these if they didn't make my lips look good, so that's all I'm saying. So that wraps up this video, you guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I know this was a very talkative video, but these are the products that I feel like have very distinctive formulas that I reach back for, and I know that I am going to have a good makeup day when I wear it because it just, it just has something to it, you know what I mean? So I hope you guys all enjoy. I hope you guys end up trying some of my recommendations. And that's it. That's all I have for you guys. So I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Peace out, Girl Scouts.